I've been looking for a technology like this for a long time. I've really fallen in love with Ed Cafe, and the reason I like it so much is that it has a variety of tools within the product, but not too many to overwhelm students or teachers. And all the tools are really useful to us as language teachers or language students. Now, there are many technologies that you would be interested in, but I'm gonna focus just on two today. The two that I'm going to focus on are the reading and listening comprehension technology. It will generate a text plus the listening, plus a vocabulary list, plus comprehension questions. And then the other tool that I'm going to show you is the YouTube quiz or comprehension checker. So you can choose a YouTube video and it will generate comprehension questions that you can then play with your students in class or for homework. And it formats it really professionally. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, but most of all, I'd love to have more of you signed up to my YouTube channel. I'll share the link to the technology in the description below. Let's get started. So this is a very new tool for me. I've just started using it, but I'm really enjoying it, and I'm starting to use it now in my own language studies of Polish. What I want to do is I want you to obviously create an account, come over to create new. And the one that I want to focus on, as you can see, there are many here that are going to be useful to us as teachers, as language teachers particularly, and language students. I want to start with the reading activity. This is superb. You've got four ways of starting your reading and you can generate reading and then the listening for the reading so that you can listen and read at the same time but then also you can generate comprehension questions and vocabulary lists now you can either choose topic or you can actually paste in some text or provide the lists of words that you want to use in the story or you can even link to a web page now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write in a topic here so since it's finals day at wimbledon today and I was born very near to Wimbledon, I'm going to ask for the history of the Wimbledon tennis tournament. How did it start? When did it start? Was it the first ever tennis competition? And I've chosen a ninth grade. Now, the levels, obviously, you'd have to work around and find out what works for you. Notice, too, that you can generate this in lots of languages. Now, I'm using this in Polish, but today, for this example, I'll do it in English. And I'm going to click on this button here, generate reading activity and off it goes and starts producing the content for me now i've just read that text and it's excellent and accurate i'm going to scroll down below and i want you to notice a few things look this add vocabulary add quiz add audio you'll also see for example i think at the top here it says add audio here as well now you can obviously uh, edit this if you want to but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the audio and this for me is super powerful I'll choose um, Stacy Stacy will do fine so I'm going to generate the audio and I really like this idea that we can listen and read at the same time and I find this very helpful there it is the audio is produced let's give it a quick check The history of the Wimbledon tennis tournament is a fascinating journey that traces back to the late 19th century. Now this is excellent for me and really, really helpful. If you scroll down below, notice also that we can add vocabulary. And what this seems to do is, and again, you can edit that this list if, if you're not happy with it, but it just it kind of extracts some of the most significant words. And I really like this, okay? And obviously this would be a great help to provide this list before the students start to read or listen to the content. But notice also that if we just scroll down a bit further, we've also got add passage quiz. Now, I'm just going to choose multiple choice questions and I'll, I'll keep it fairly short. So I'm just going to do five. Of course, you can do more and I'm going to generate the questions. So you're kind of getting quite a complete product here because we're getting the reading with the listening, with the vocabulary. And then finally, a kind of uh, comprehension check. Notice that it gives really good detail about the explanations for the reasons, etc. I really like that. And when the students go to do the activity, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, you'll notice that it gives or it, it gives feedback on their performance. So again, really nice feature. So once you finish, click on save and obviously give it a title. 
and then you can actually create folders if you want to, which is a good idea. And I've already started to organize my content. So I'm going to call this early tests. This is one of my tests. I'm going to make it public and then I'm going to click on save. Now, the important thing about saving it is that then it allows for you to share this with students. Now, this is where it gets really interesting because you can assign this to students. If you click on the assign button, you've got a QR code. And you've also got, perhaps more importantly, a copy link. And you can just share that link with the students. The students will click on the link or use the QR code. They can access the listening comprehension and they can actually do the activity. And you will be collecting all their responses. Now I'm gonna show you an example of one that I've already done. And you can see that the responses are there. So in this one here, you can see that I've got already six people have done the activity. And if I click here, I can look through and see how well they're doing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, hope you found that useful. And if you did, please click on the like button. Now within Ed Cafe, there are many technologies and I've already made a video about the brilliant chatbot. You can use it to practice your speaking, speaking in English, speaking in Spanish, French, Polish, etc. It works really well and I've made a video that shows you how to use the chatbot. If you want to watch that, it's on the screen now. I'm going to move on now and show you how the YouTube comprehension checker works. And what I really like about this, again, Again, it's the format, how it's all laid out. It looks so professional. Let's take a look. So I'm going to use this video here because I want to carry on with the theme of Wimbledon. And all I need to do is to click here at the top, copy the link. Now I'm going to come back over to here to Ed Cafe. And then all I need to do is click on create new. And then of course I want YouTube quiz. And I need to paste that link in and then just click on here to actually add that video up. That's the first thing you're gonna do, just simply add up the video. Now you're gonna to start to generate the multiple choice questions. And notice that you've got a few choices here. You can kind of control how many, I'm just gonna do five. And notice that I have got a few options here, short answer mix, I'm just gonna go for multiple choice. I don't see any need for any additional instructions. The level is going to be useful. So I'm going to keep to that idea of kind of um, ninth grade. Okay. Now this obviously, I guess it's based on the American grading system. Uh, so it is something you've got to kind of play around with. What would be the appropriate level for your students? Because obviously in each country, there's a different grading system. Uh, I'm going to click now on generate YouTube quiz and I'm hoping it's going to start to generate that quiz for me. Just a really quick break from the video. If you do like what you see and you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in using technologies for learning languages, both for teachers and students. There's a great AI section that you might find really useful. There's also a section of stuff for students, autonomous learning, how to study on your own. And if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, there is actually a free mini 14 part course where I send you one video every two or three days, uh, highlighting some of the best technologies for either studying or teaching languages. There are no tricks, nearly everything that I show you is free. One final thing, if you are a teacher and want training with me or you'd like more content, then think about joining me on Patreon. I've got more than 400 members. Right, let's get back to the video. So the quiz is generated. You can, if you want to regenerate a quick question, if you're not happy, you can add a picture, etc. You can delete it. You can go through and just check. Remember, I only did five questions, but you can do more, of course, if you want to. You can add additional questions. Notice that each question, it gives a detailed explanation of the answer, which I really like. Click on the save button. Again, we're going to need to give this a name and then save it in the right place. So I've called this Wimbledon YouTube or Wimbledon YouTube quiz. I'm going to click on save. Now, I just want to point out a few things. Obviously, you can go in and edit everything. Okay, so if there's anything you want to edit, you can do that and then you can click on the save button. Now, let's actually go over now to this button here, the assign button. And let's actually look. Remember, we can share this QR code, but most importantly, we can also copy the link. Now, I'm going to log in as a student and just show you what it would look like to the student so you can see exactly what the student sees. So I click here and I'm going to paste that link and press enter. 
and then I'm going to write my name, Russell, and I will now be able to play the quiz. So just click on this button here to start playing. I love the formatting, see? You've got the video here on the left-hand side that you can watch. And then, of course, what you can do is choose your answer, okay? And so, okay, I'm going to click on the, that one and then come down to the next one. And obviously, I would watch the video first and then answer the questions. Remember, I only put, but look at the formatting. Look how professional this looks. This really is one of my favorite examples. Now, if I submit the answers, I'm going to actually get instant feedback as well. So it actually tells me how many I got wrong or right. And it even goes through and gives me an explanation underneath. Absolutely superb. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, don't forget, please click on the like button. This actually has been a good month for me. And there was another technology that I produced a video for a couple of weeks ago called Gaston, which has also generated loads of interest. Uh, it's one of the most interesting technologies I've come across so far this year. Ed Cafe would definitely be another. And if you want to watch Gaston, if you're a language teacher or a language student, you're going to love it. It's on the screen now and you're going to find that very useful. Thank you very much. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training. This training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.